Minister's housing allowance. This is, what <laughs> says from Bob. <laughs> this is nuts. So I, uh, a guy had emailed me uh, about two weeks ago, um, talk about how 403Bs that all these financial advisors are telling ministers to roll over their 403Bs to IRAs. And he says they're making a huge mistake either due to ignorance or greed because ministers have this thing called a minister's housing allowance. And I uh, addressed that in my most recent Q&A session. I had no clue what a minister's housing allowance was, uh, none at all. So I want to read this. My man Bob, who I did some financial plans with, a financial plan with him and his, uh, his better half, he sent me uh, this to me as an email, which I think you'll find very informative. He goes, hey, Josh, I have that in mind. Believe me, I eat the minister's housing allowance. And in retirement, I can designate distributions for my 403B as housing allowance. Read on. It'll help you a lot. Uh, help you a little for sure. I put several links below so you can read some of this on the Guidestone site. I've linked our minister's tax guide and also an IRS page. Check this out. During employment as an ordained minister, in most cases, I fill out an annual form for my employer, a church, the convention I work for, or other qualified ministry, designating in advance a certain portion of my income as housing allowance for the upcoming year. Um, the housing allowance is federal income tax free following strict rules, but not self-employment tax free. I pay self-employment taxes on all my income, not my wife's of course, less my retirement contributions. So for example, let's say my gross is 50,000 bucks. I calculate guess my housing expense for 2020 at $10,000. And I give that to my employer before I make my first check in 2020. I'm basically recharacterizing my $50,000 as $40,000 salary and $10,000 housing allowance. This allowance can include rent or mortgage repairs, utilities, furnishings, appliance, and other costs to maintain the home. Let's say they also want $5,000 deducted from my now $40,000 salary to go into my 403 retirement. What goes on my W-2? 35,000 bucks. And there it is, a box on a W-2 for the employer to put my 403B deductions optionally so they can put my housing allowance deduction in there too. My actual paychecks though add up to 45,000 bucks, all but the retirement contribution. Because I get my salary and my housing allowance on the same check, but they are noticed, they're noticed separately on the stub. But wait, there's more. I have to keep records for all my housing expenses. And at the end of 2020, I totaled my actual expenses. Let's say they are 8,500, but I elected 10,000 as my housing allowance. I now have to show the $1,500 difference as excess allowance income on the 1040 and pay both federal and self-employment tax on the 1,500 bucks. No, I pay self-employment tax on the entire 45,000, federal income tax on the 35,000, and no tax, of course, on the money that went to the 403B. If I spend more than 10,000 qualified housing expense that I had to designate in advance, well then too bad. I do not get to claim the excess spent and cannot say that I did not know that I needed a new roof this year. All right, so let's see. So the law also allows a retired minister to designate withdrawals only from a 403B, in my case, as a housing allowance. If I die before my wife, it stops. Also, I cannot use my IRA draws, uh, my IRA withdrawals from Vanguard as housing allowance. That's interesting. Uh, so the brother who emailed you is right. We can claim housing allowance of retirement, but must designate the amount in advance with his retirement provider. Unused money will be taxable. It's not automatically the amount uh, submitted in advance. Even in retirement, I must keep the records and be able to substantiate the allowance. Study for yourself. Don't depend on me. And he got some links in here, which I'll share with you. Uh, Guy Stone is his 403 provider, a uh, good FAQ on housing allowance, including questions on retirement. If you really want to get in the weeds, the minister's tax guide can be downloaded here, and I'll put all this in the uh, the notes. That's fantastic. So, Bob, kudos to you, my friend. Uh, I'll put all this in here. This is, this is incredible. Uh, if you're a minister of some sort, like my man Bob, uh, part-time, you'd be insane not to, to use this. Uh, absolutely. I don't know, actually, Bob, I can't remember. But anyway, you'd be insane not to use the minister's housing allowance. Be very careful before you roll over your 403B. I had no clue about this, so kudos to you. I hope this helps you guys out there. I'll put a link in the notes. Thanks.